In this lecture, we are going to learn about field name and field alias. We already know about field name, but uh, do you know about field alias? I guess maximum of us don't know about this field alias. Let's see when we create any field or add a field, we have to give a name of this field. This is known as field name, which means the property name of this field. And if you remember in our previous course of GIS and ArcGIS level 1, in this field name, we can't give any space. Say in our male and female population field, if we add this like uh, M space F, if we click OK, it is showing that the specific field name M space F is invalid because it contains invalid characters. Do you want to automatically rename the field to M underscore F? If you click yes, it will create underscore instead of this space. So in our field name, we can't add any space because it is a property name of this field. That's why we need to use MF without a space. And we already have created this field MF in our previous lecture. So if we create this type of field, it seems like coding language instead of field name, is not it? Say, what does it mean MF? If someone see this field name first time in this attribute table, what does it mean? Renter underscore OCC. It looks like expression coding language, is not it? So how we can present our this field name as a presentable format? Is it possible? Yes, that's why field alias. We can change the label of this field name in this attribute table from the properties of this field. See, again, right click on this field, then go to properties. In here, we can see both options, field name and field alias, which is showing the same MF because when we add a new field, the field name and field alias will be same automatically. The alias will be same based on our given field name. I repeat, the field name is the property name of this field and the alias means the label of this field which can be visualized in this attribute table column heading. Say, if we change the alias as male and female population with space, See, we have used space. If we click apply, now click OK. It's not showing our alias because to make this visible, we need to go to table options and click show field alias. Now we can see the field alias of this MF field. Now it's look like a field header or column header and others field name seems like a coding language or expression codes crop up underscore ACR 07 what does it mean I don't know actually. So in this way we can change the field level by using field alias. This is the difference between field name and field alias. Field name means the property name of this field and field alias means the label of this field which can be visualized inside this attribute table as a column header. Let me explain you more. If we go to this field calculator in where we can see the field name if we use the expression, see in here it is showing MF instead of male and female population level. So it means in field calculator it is showing the field property name which is field name. It does not show the field alias in this field list. So we need to understand this issue properly, the differences between field name and field alias. So we can't find the field alias in this field list. For this reason, we need to consider also field name. If we use the field calculator or any other expression in where we need to use the field name, in that case, definitely we need to uncheck this show field aliases by which we can easily identify the field name which we can use in our expression or in any other task in where we need to use the field name actually. In this field properties, we can make the field off or on, we can make the field read only, we can highlight field also. If you click apply, now click OK. 
the field will be highlighted. If we uncheck this, now click OK. So this is the differences between field name and field alias. Now let's play with this in your attribute table.